How's it going, everyone? So today I want to show you how I vectorize an image like this. This is a sketch of an eagle I did uh, that was set up for a bike, but we're going to use this in our live feed. And so basically, we want to go from this to this, which is the vector. So if you zoom in, you can see it's all clean vector lines. And this is one way to do it utilizing the iPad. Um, typically, I would do this on my computer where I would um, just use the pen tool and just click around. But for organic shapes like this, the Eagles, I find it faster to do it in the in the iPad app. And then certain things like, you know, the radius, the, the circle for the eyeball and things like that are easier to do with just, a, you know, shape tools and things like that. But let me show you how I get kind of a baseline start for the Eagle. So for there, I'm going to turn off the actual inking. So this is how my drawing starts. I bring it in, it's, it's its own layer. And what I typically do is I lock this layer so now it can't be touched or dragged upon um, and inked upon. Then I make a new layer on top. So right here's a layers tab. I'm gonna just add a layer. This is a new layer. Now this can be drawn on. And in the iPad app, I use the pencil tool, which is here. This little drop down menu is a smoothing. So if you get a lot of shake and things like that, you want like, so if I want this, like it'll just keep it kind of smooth. Um, even if I'm like jittery, see, it'll, it'll try to smooth it out. Whereas if I go down here, it will keep all my jitter. So I usually keep it around a one or a two. I like it to correct a little bit, but not overcorrect. Depends what I'm doing. Uh, big key here is to turn off the white fill. This is the fill color. This is your line color, fill and line. So in fill color, I go to the white circle with the X through it, and I leave my line work to black in this case. Uh, sometimes I'll put a color in it, but we'll just do it here. So then I just simply, I'm using the iPad uh, pencil tool, and I'm just gonna go in, just draw it. Now it's a little jittery. I want to undo that. I want to try going up to a three and seeing if I like that. Down here. Oh, I got my line color fill back on. Let me shut that off. There we go. And what's nice about doing this as opposed to a trace is, as you know, a trace from an ink sketch will always get you a double cut because it's tracing the inside and outside of the line. Just for speed, I'm just kind of going around. I'm going to correct a lot of this in Illustrator. But you can see how fast you can do it this way with the iPad or if you're on a computer with like a tablet or something like that. Now, I'm not trying to get it exact. I'm putting, oops, got a, got a little shaky there for a second. Okay, so these lines don't touch. I usually fix that in the computer. So same thing here. With this, I'll probably turn the correction up a little bit more because it's a long curve. Or I'm going to use this traditional pencil tool, the pen tool, and I'm just going to drag the handles around go from there so that's one way to do it or just the pen the pencil like we've been doing it and do the same thing but with that smoothing it will keep things a little bit more smooth You know, just get the basics. I pretty much know where I'm going to pull and things like that. But notice I don't bother with the eye right now because I'm just going to do that with the regular circle tool. And that's it. That is vectored, 
and I can actually turn off the layer. You can see it. So that's vectored. That's the line work. And then I'm going to go in and do all the cleanup. Like I said, you could do it all here, but I would prefer to do, you know, I could go in and do individual cleanup here and move little nodes around and make things connect. Um, you know, little adjustments. So you could do it all here. Uh, I prefer to do it in the computer since I'm going to be plotting this. So I'm going to do it on the machine. So basically I'm going to save this to the cloud, which with Adobe, this file, when I save it here, will open right up in the computer. And that's what I'm going to do now. now just go out and hit. Oh, basically, I'm just going to close out. When I close out, it automatically saves. This are my files, and we will show you the next part. This is the same method I did for you know, the skull, the, the, a lot of stuff. I did the same method for this. So let's head out. All right, everyone. So here is the next step. So I've come from the iPad. I've opened Illustrator up here in my MacBook on my computer, uh, and the same cloud file is here. So it's the same exact file we were just working with on the iPad. Let me uh, zoom out here. So you can see it's the same image here, same place with the lines. I'm going to look at layers. I'm going to turn that layer back on. There we go. So that's what we, we worked in. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to zoom in here. You can see what I want to clean up. Like I said, you can clean this up in on the iPad, I prefer to do it in here. So easiest way to do that is, I'm gonna first hit Command Y or it's Control Y on a uh, PC, I'm on a Mac. And so you can do simple things like this, like there's a lot of little things like these loops in here. Uh, and Control Y, what that does, that brings up outline mode versus preview mode. So basically it doesn't show any artwork. Uh, and you can just see all the lines and splines and things like that. So. Basically what I do is I move the nodes around. Those are just little, these little things here, just like the pen tool creates these nodes, these handles so you can move it around. So I just do some adjustments here, do some adjustments here, select individual. This little guy here lets you radius it. See, I can just radius it around. Just super quick to clean it up. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna make this one connect and I'm gonna put a little arc on it because it's a little too straight. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna grab that handle and just radius it up. Again, super simple, super easy. Uh, when there's paths like this, if I want to join them together, this is really easy as well. Everything's super easy once you know the tricks. It's a little daunting the first time out. If I take the individual select tool, which is this white arrow, I select both points. If I hit command or control on a PC, the letter J, as in James, it connects it up. Okay, same thing here. I can go in, I can make that a radius if I choose. Again, super easy, starts to clean it up. I'm just gonna go around here. This is all done with the white arrow, which is the individual select. Black is the group select, the black arrow. So let's really clean up this eye because it's a little messy in here and I don't really dig it. So let's do this. We're gonna take this, we're gonna see where we're at. Yeah, it's all a little. So I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna move this around like this. I'm gonna take this handle like that. I'm going to basically make that into like its own little feather. I'm going to zoom out here. Sorry, I'm going to zoom out. And that looks a little better. You know, we'll make it a little bolder. And clean, kind of clean it up. Okay, so that, that's basically clean up there. Now I've got these lines cutting through. Now these are really simple ones. You can just kind of go like this and move it. But let's say you don't want to move it. Uh, what you would have to do normally is use a scissor tool and go in and cut that path and delete it and hit delete again. And you still kind of get a little tang, a little, little hangs over a little bit. You got to kind of go in and move it. I found a better way over the years to get rid of that little situation. Okay, so I'm going to undo what I just did. Uh, a company called Astute Graphics, um, they make a plugin. Uh, they make a lot of different plugins, but Astute Graphics makes one called Dynamic Sketch, and it gives you this Dynamic Sketch tool, which has a lot of features uh, for smoothing things out and things like that. But that's not what I really want it for. What I want it for is this little feature, which will, what I just tried to do, it does in one stroke. So I have this tool. I hold down my shift key. I get a little X and watch. I just drag through it, and it just automatically cleans it up right to where it needs to go like nothing. I'm going to go here. I'm going to do it super fast. This little plugin and tool has basically streamlined 
my workflow so much. Um, I can't say enough about that one tool. Dynamic Sketch is worth that alone. But they have a ton of other stuff for it as well. Even these little guys like this. Watch. I'm going to just go strike one, strike two, done. Makes things like that super clean. And then that's it. You know, I'll clean up most of this stuff here. Same way, just move it around. Make it make it nice a nice clean file. But let's finish off with the eye and let's get to Peyton. So I'm gonna go back to Command Y, Control Y, and see my artwork. Um, it's very important this bottom layer stays locked. So now I'm gonna use the uh, ellipse tool and hold shift to make a circle. And then I'm just gonna drag it to the size I want. And there we go. So now, same thing. If I wanted to cut this before, I'd have to go to the scissor tool and do click, click, and move, move the nodes. It takes a little bit of time. With this tool here, boom, boom, boom. Done. I'm gonna put the pupil in. I'm gonna drag another one here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this shape out of that shape. So I'm gonna take these two. This is again, this with the Pathfinder tool. I'm gonna to do a bigger video on these tools independently and how to use them. This is basically how I do this one. This circle I did second, so this circle is on top of this circle. I'm gonna to go to Pathfinder, hit minus front. And there we go. And she, this eagle, is ready for paint. Control Y, you can just see, see it again. That's the vector, that's what the plotter is gonna see. And uh, we're gonna put some stars in here. Just I'm gonna take some, take some basement stars, we're gonna stretch them, put them in here, and then we're gonna get off to painting the final project. So let's get moving.